Hi guys, it's Miss Lisa. Are you guys having a great day? The sun is out today, so hopefully you're able to go outside and have some fun. Um, they are blossoms on the tree and I see flowers popping up. I'll have to go take the camera out there and show you guys later, but maybe you can go out with your mom or your brothers or sisters and see all the things that are growing outside right now because it is springtime. But right now we're gonna finish up a review. We're gonna talk about the letter I. Can you guys say I? Now, who knows what the letter I is? Is it a consonant or is it a vowel? Do you guys remember what the vowels are? A, E, I. Then we have O and U. So I makes two sounds because it is a vowel. You say I and then you also say I. But a lot of these pictures down here are gonna actually start with the vowel um, I with the sound I. So can you guys say I? I. So writing the letter I is actually not too hard. We're just going to go down and across the top and across the bottom. Do you guys see that? And do you start at the middle or do you start at the top with big I? We start at the top line, right? So start at the top line and go down to the bottom line and across the top and across the bottom. Big I, and then you guys can practice your eyes all the way across. But remember to leave some space. See how these ones have space in between them? Leave some space so that you can see how much of an awesome job that you guys have done. Okay, and then we have little I. And little I, since it's a little letter, um, generally most of them start from the middle line. So we're starting at the middle line here, not at the top, right? Do we start at the top? No, we start at the middle. So we're gonna start here and go down and make a dot. Can we do that again? Go down and make a dot. And then can you practice it all by yourself? Make a little space and go down, start the middle line, go down and make a dot. Okay, make a little space, start at the middle line, go down and make a dot. And then big eye, you can practice by yourself too. You start at the top, go down to the bottom, cross on the top and cross on the bottom. Okay, there you guys go. And now these pictures, you have to figure out which one of them starts with the I sound. We have ice cream, ice cream. We have, looks like jacket, j, j, jacket. We have stove. We have lion. We have i, i. Does that, is that an I sound? We have I and then we have i, 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 igloo. And then we have I, I, island. So which one of these pictures starts with the I sound, either I or I? All right, let's see. Did you guys do it? Good job. Okay, then over here, it says, can you draw a, um, or think of a word that starts with the letter I, write the word and draw a picture of it. So remember, pictures are just like shapes. So let's try to make this ice cream. So we're gonna make a triangle, an upside down triangle. And then we're gonna kind of make a little bit of an oval on top like this. See, and you can make an ice cream and you can draw lines like this on the cone and you can draw lines this way. It kind of looks like a chocolate, huh? A chocolate ice cream cone. All right, good job guys. Okay, next we have for phonics today are sounds. Okay, we're gonna review our sounds again, but I know you guys pretty much know them. So we're just gonna quickly, um, Go through them. We have a uh, a uh, umbrella. We have b b bird, m m mushroom, flower, w w worm, r r rabbit, e eh, e eh, egg, t t turtle, and k k kite. Okay, so I want you to go through. That should be super easy for you guys to um, to know the sounds, and then. For our math today, we just have a fun maze, okay? Because you guys have worked so hard. You have to help the Easter Bunny find his basket. You might have already done this, but um, if you haven't, you can do that. You can do that today. And he's kind of given you a hint. He needs help collecting all his eggs for his Easter basket. So can you guys go around and maybe follow all the eggs and help him um, put them back in the Easter basket? And you can draw them down here too. And then Miss Lisa, has something to put in your binder and you can actually trace it. So do you guys remember what word this is? If I cover up the E and it's just TH, what sound does TH make? Th, th, 
the, okay? So can you trace the word the, and then try writing it down here all by yourself. And then we have of, of. That's another sight word, of. And then you guys can trace it here and write it down here. And then we have and, and, and. Then you could also trace and and write it down here. Ms. Lisa actually gave you another one too. So you have two pages of sight words that you can practice. This one's two, two. That was a pretty recent one that we learned lately. Then you can trace that over here and write it down here too. And then we have I -n, I -n, in over here and over here. And you can trace it over here like this. I -n, and then you can write it down here. I -n. It's kind of hard for Miss Lisa to try to do that. See, in, and you can write it again if you want, actually. So you can do another one, in, like we are in the preschool room. Okay, and then the last word is, 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 and then you can trace it there, to get a little bit of help, and then try writing it by yourself. Okay, guys, well, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, we'll take a little bit of a break and have fun, um, some Easter fun with our families, and then we'll be back to our videos. And we actually have a really exciting thing coming up. Um, the last time you were in the preschool room, before we had a review, we talked about the letter U. Do you guys remember what's after U? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. If you guys said V, you are right. We're gonna talk about V, and we're actually gonna be able to talk about our dinosaur friends. And v -v 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 Velociraptor starts with V. So Garrig, you should especially love this unit because um, I know how much you love dinosaurs. All you guys do, but we know Garrig really, really, really likes them. Okay guys, so you guys have a fun time with your family and have a, an awesome Easter. And Miss Lisa misses you guys, and I'll talk to you later. All right, bye guys.